Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am Teresa Moxley and today I'm going to walk through a couple of process videos for you from my December Daily 2020. I'm going to share with you my Reason Why page. That's where I'm starting, obviously, and then working through days one, two, and three in this year's album. And so my start for each day is to journal a few words just in Microsoft Word and start there. And I wanted to focus more heavily on the journaling this year. And to help me with that, I'm also using Ali Edwards December Daily Templates. And that's what you can see I'm cutting out here. This is my Reason Why page. And of course, I will have all the uh, December Daily Templates linked on my blog. I will also share, I'm working on a video to share with you the digital part of my process every day and I'll be sharing that with you very soon. So look for that. Um, but what I'm doing is leaving space on the templates for physical embellishments, stamping, uh, washi tape, just whatever uh, I feel I want to add to the page. And so I read out my reason why, and then I'm going to stamp across the top of the page. And um, so full disclosure and kind of a funny story that this actually doesn't work out and I end up reprinting the template and redoing this. Um, you can see I was sort of struggling because uh, in a spirit of full disclosure, I never clean my stamps. And so when you don't clean your stamps and then you change ink colors, guess what happens? Um, one, you mess up your ink pads. You can see my red is a bit, a bit disturbed there. Um, <laughs> but then your stamping also isn't so good. So uh, do as I say, not as I do. Clean your stamps. And then you'll be able to use them better when you change ink colors. But um, anyway, <laughs> so you can see that it didn't really uh, it didn't really come out the way that I had planned. I wanted the stillness word to go all the way across, um, but that didn't quite work out. But let me let me read to you the words that I wrote. I had a request to be sure and include what I'm writing this year. So uh, this says, Stillness. This year, everything has been filled with so much anxiety, dread, news that travels faster than the speed of sound and whiplash. I am ready for a season of making merry. I am ready to pull out the lights and the tree and the ornaments. I'm ready to remember the wonderful years we have had. I am definitely ready to welcome a new year at the end of this month. This year began with so much promise. We celebrated until way in the wee hours of morning on New Year's Eve, excited about what the year might hold. March came in like a lion, and in many ways, it still feels like March. It feels like time stood still while we waited and waited and waited. This is the birth story, isn't it? The world holds its breath, waiting for the signs of promise. The promise isn't that a miracle would happen, but rather that adjustments would be made, coping would be done, change would be inevitable. I remember after 9-11, people said our lives would never be the same. <clears throat> for many, that was true. For many, their lives will not be the same after COVID. Our lives will be forever changed as well, even though as of November 30, we are still okay. The changes show in our hearts. The changes show in that we laugh a little deeper. We cry a little heavier. We mourn the freedoms we had before. We hold each other a little tighter. Something hasn't changed though, and that is how nothing is ever guaranteed. Life changes on a dime, and my life has shown me that over and over again. I have learned to cherish today cherish our family, cherish our relationships, cherish the laughs, sh cherish the comfort, cherish the joy we are able to find. This year affords us the, abil the ability to sit with these things in a way we probably didn't before. 
Staying home means a quieter lifestyle. For many of us, we find ourselves in the stillness, a bit uncomfortable, a tiny bit nervous, a tiny bit anxious, but that stillness is what affords us the vision. Our senses are heightened this year, so we learn to sit in that stillness and wait for what it wishes to tell us. These are the stories of what our stillness is telling me this year. 25 stories, 25 days of reflecting, waiting, pondering, cherishing, laughing, and enjoying each other. And then you can see where I added the, um, the word strip at the bottom and the number 25. I also did some stitching on this. It's something that I wanted to commit to this year. And a bit of washi tape uh, from crepe paper and a little label with my uh, stamp that says the reason why. I had to go back and find an older December Daily stamp set that had the reason why on it. Um, so that was cool to get to use an older stamp. And then I wanted to include a calendar. This is something that I don't normally do in my December dailies. I don't know why. Um, I get, I always get one or two calendars. And um, so this year I decided to incorporate the LE Studio calendar. And I'm just adding a few little chipboard embellishments. Uh, one of the felt sparkle symbols and uh, the Santa flare, which is from Pretty Little Studio. Uh, the other products are all from Allie Edwards. And so I just saw that as a little opportunity to uh, have a little bit of fun, to play a little bit with product here and just... Um, add a little a little calendar here and what I'm gonna do I think um, is a little flip up because what I have is the the transparency cover sheet that you'll be seeing uh, and and what that looks like layered over either one of these and it didn't look quite right um, so, and I'm trying to like figure out here, what do I want the order of these pages to be? And so I went ahead and grabbed a page protector here and uh, want to position this so that it looks right um, when you open the album because obviously when you open the album, you'll see underneath the transparency. And um, the white on white just really, I don't know why, for some reason it didn't turn out the way that I expected it to. And so I went in and printed out a photo from the fall, actually. And um, this is uh, just from a couple of weeks ago. I, I took the kids outside and had them do some photos. And so I decided to use that photo, but then when I laid it on the full six by eight, when I laid it underneath that opening transparency, the circle was right over Natalie's face. So I decided to crop the photo down so that the, the circle bit and the 2020 would um, allow all of the four kids faces to show through and I'm glad that I made that decision that meant um, choosing something for the photo to be housed on <clears throat> so I chose the I, I went from never using a calendar in my December daily to using two calendars this year um, this is the Paisley Press calendar that was in the Ali Edwards product offering this year. And so I've just covered up the calendar part with the photo here. And then I'm gonna create my flip up. I'm just using simple washi tape here. Um, nothing fancy, right? Um, we've done this so many times and it works out so well. Um, I really loved how this came together in the album and I love having this um, beautiful, photo that greets you when you open the album. Um, it also sets the tone 
for the album here and um that's that's a gorgeous tone to set and then notice how i adhered it upside down oh <laughs> always 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 use repositionable adhesive um because something always needs to be lifted up and put back down every time <laughs> so that doing it that way um really helped me feel better about it and i really liked how that turned out so you can see here how that looks in the album and then moving on to day one and so my story for day one is visiting the light show in our town it's uh, the lights at tanglewood park and we go there every year and once again i started with an ally edwards december daily template and my journaling i layered in a photo uh, or clipped in a photo for that template and then added a number from Colorcast Designs. And so let me read to you the journaling. This day seemed to fly by so fast that I am not sure where the time went. Work is hectic this week as we prepare for Light the Path pre-order and I am filled with hope. We went to see the lights at Tanglewood because I just have had it on my mind since they opened. This was one thing I knew we would still be able to do this year that wouldn't be affected by COVID. Hooray for that. Nick and Natalie went with us this year and I'm so glad they did. Addison and Emberlyn stayed home and that is okay. I know they want to hang out online with their friends. I loved having Nick and Natalie with us to laugh and carry on. There was lots of laughs over quote unquote confusion and how many tacos we were eating. Usually we stop at McDonald's before heading out, but this year it was Taco Bell. And then I got Alan's tacos mixed up with one of Nick's and hilarity ensued. I might be fired as the food hander outer, but hey, at least everyone did get their food. I only ate mine. Thank you very much. This annual tradition never gets old for me. I remember going when Natalie was just still nursing and we had to pull over so she could eat. One thing I love about Tanglewood is that every year they add a few new things here and there and they move things around. It's a little treasure hunt to find your favorites. The history of that place is long and it holds special meaning for me. Uh, growing up, my parents loved to drive around to see lights every year. I don't remember there being any place like Tanglewood, but they loved to see the neighborhoods. Car rides have always held comfort for me. Lights hold comfort as well and this is part of my childhood I cherish and so notice how I'm bringing the journaling back to some of the keywords that were in my reason why um, the stillness the word cherish seems to be coming up a lot and I really uh, am appreciative for that perspective and so um, this was one of the foundation pages that I built uh, before Allie's epic announcement of using no <clears throat> pocket pages this year. Um, so it, it is pocket page based and you'll see, you will see in the final photos that I switched around the two, three by four photos so that the one would show a little bit better. And I just, um, put a four by six photo from Tanglewood. I put a um, three by four photo from Tanglewood and then the little chipboard heart and I just stapled the one to that three by or four by eight trans I'm sorry three by eight transparency. Um, pretty simple and added a label to that one photo. That one photo does have a overlay a digital overlay included and so moving on to day two, and for day two, I have the back of that page protector and this uh, Find Joy page that I made using the foiled alphabets and the uh, Constellation patterned paper. And originally I was going to slide the two, the felt two into a three by four pocket page or three by eight pocket page. And I decided to change that up because of the story that I had to tell. And so you saw 
at the first part of this day that I did a uh, digital template uh, using three three by eight sheets. And those are just going to slide into one of the craft pockets that were included in the December Daily product offering this year. And then I'm just going to layer the two over top of that pocket. And that's something that Ali did in her pages, and I've seen several others do that. I love how the two pops up over top of the pocket, over top of the opening on the pocket. And then I just wanted to add a little bit of embellishment. I have to say that these numbers are so much fun to try to figure out how to embellish them. That has been a lot of fun for me um, just to get to play with product uh, and and have have the real estate. These numbers give you the real estate to be able to add um, little bits and pieces there. So let me read you the journaling and uh, this is how it goes. Today, Nick and Natalie go back to their dads for the rest of the week, and I was torn about whether to try to squeeze in putting up the tree. All the other decorations are up. The lights are on the front of the house. The garlands are up on the mantel. The plate rag is Mary Mug. The plate rack is Mary Mug Central. Hmm, that sounds like a page title, doesn't it? I decided that after the day, I decided that the day should be relaxing after I had my doctor's appointment and don't feel so great from that. And I'm glad that I made that decision. Uh, sometimes it is best to wait. Nick found his advent calendar and then we had a whole discussion about whether to eat it all at once or to take it with him. Should he eat day one and day two together? He decided that it wouldn't be any fun to eat it all at once. Ha! Huh. These advent calendars are such a simple joy. And this year, I felt like it seemed even more important to continue the tradition. I somewhat tearily had remarked to Alan days ago that everything seems a little bit more important this year. Everything we do for our children, especially, because they need all the merriment and all the joy, too. I worry about them. They are buried online all day with schoolwork. And there has been no reprieve from the workload, no grace that considers the learning challenges that online school presents. And each one of them has still excelled. Nick has had unique circumstances because of Career Center. His classes follow a bit of a different schedule because of his AP. And I'm super proud of him for navigating those challenges so well. This hasn't been easy on the kids at all. I am super aware of that. And it breaks my heart a little bit. But seeing him get excited about the advent calendar helped me see that he is doing really well. Hearing him laugh and watching him enjoy something so simple and fun did both our hearts good. I am so freaking proud of you, Nick. I am cheering you on. And so just borrowing uh, some sentiments there that Allie Edwards uh, shares with her own children, uh, the idea of, um, of cheering them on uh, and sharing that in that journaling is really important <clears throat> to me. I hope that you can tell uh, I'm reading the journaling. That's kind of the focus of my process videos. You can learn more about the products that I'm using and the process that I'm going through on my blog. Um, as always, I share little details about the project in different places, in different ways. And so I really wanted to uh, share the journaling with you guys. That's something that I'm glad I made that decision to focus on that. Uh, the journaling and the photos are the most important things, right? The product is lovely and it's exciting and it's beautiful. It makes, it helps to make a beautiful album. But I know in the future, what I'm really going to see as the most important is the photos that I've included and the journaling, the words that I've shared. And so you can see I printed out a four by six photo um, just of Nick in the kitchen, you know, where I found him. Punchy opened the little doors on his advent calendar. And then I had two very simple journal cards at the bottom of the page. Uh, I added one of the pleather uh, word sentiments there 
for a little pop of red and look at how how that page turned out it's really cool i decided to leave the back of the journal cards blank and i'm leaving the craft envelope blank and calling that done and then i wanted to check and make sure that the tabs didn't stick up over the top of the album and they don't so everything is good and moving right on to day three here and day three i decided um can just be this uh hybrid page again a ali edwards digital template here and um just using the one side of the spread for this day and um so I had mentioned in day two that I had a doctor's appointment and I haven't been, I haven't been feeling the greatest. It's nothing serious and um, I don't really have any desire to share what is happening, but um, it's nothing serious. I just have to go through the treatment or whatever. And um, so that was what day three was for me. And I just stayed in my pajamas all day. I took this really kind of grainy photo of me at my desk working. And um, I have to say that I'm kind of really liking this whole uh, blurry photo kind of thing. You're going to see some more blurry photos coming in this album, I think. Um <clears throat> I don't know if it's just the mood or um, just overall what is happening right now, but I really like this sort of blurred out photo that you can sort of make out what's going on, um, but nothing really specific here to focus on. <laughs> so let me um, read to you what I journaled. Uh, today was in many ways a day of rest and taking care of me. I have been going through some medical stuff that I don't particularly care to talk about but still has to be dealt with and it has taken an emotional toll on me. I've known for a couple of months that I have a raging perfectionism. It is part of the root of my intense anger and part of my self-loathing and the work to dismantle that is excruciating. So many internalized voices, so much self-harm, fueled by the voices of others who really had zero idea what they were saying or who they were talking to. That perfectionism impacts my own self-care. I struggle to ask for help. I struggle when anything is wrong with my body, and I struggle to love my body even when it fails me. There will always be that voice inside my head that tries to convince me I am unlovable because of this human body. So for now, I enter the what do I need to hear mode. This has become my strategy for days like this, for days where I struggle to find my footing. The stillness is taken over right now with deadlines and circumstances beyond my control. But even in the midst, I still hear you are worthy. Take care of yourself regardless of what that looks like. And then I stamped across the bottom, you are a treasure. And I also used uh, one of the Ellie Studio numbers, Jane numbers, for uh, the number three. And the Believe Sentiment is an Ellie Edwards stamp from last year. And then the, the triangle that resembles a Christmas tree or represents a Christmas tree I added some different stamped sentiments from that. Um, I have to put all those stamps away now, but <laughs> um, I promise I'll clean them before I put them away. But uh, it says, I am bright, peace and joy, serendipity, holiday love, and all is not calm. And <clears throat> those are the process videos that I have to share with you today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to check out the blog post. You'll see all the product details and product links there at TeresaMoxley.com. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're having a merry December and having a safe and wonderful holiday this year. I will see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.